The Woods of Dread In the heart of the ancient forest, where the trees stood tall and imposing, their branches entwined like gnarled fingers reaching for the sky, there lay a darkness that few dared to tread, a place where the veil between the world of the living and the realm of the dead grew thin. This was the setting for a tale of terror that would test the limits of courage and sanity. Our story begins with a group of friends, Tom, Sarah, Alex and Emily, who, seeking adventure, embarked on a hiking trip through the remote wilderness. Eager to escape the pressures of everyday life, they set out with backpacks filled with provisions and hearts filled with excitement. Little did they know. Their journey would lead them into the clutches of an ancient evil that lurked within the depths of the forest. As they ventured deeper into the woods, a sense of unease settled over the group. The air grew thick with an otherworldly chill, and strange noises echoed through the trees, like whispers carried on the wind. Tom, Sarah, Alex, and Emily brushed off these signs as mere figments of their imagination, unaware of the horrors that awaited them. But as the sun began to set and the shadows lengthened, the forest revealed its true nature. Strange symbols appeared carved into the trees, marking the path with warnings of danger ahead. Disembodied whispers echoed through the underbrush, and shadows flitted past the corners of their vision, leaving behind a sense of dread. Determined to press on, the group forged ahead unaware of the darkness that lurked just beyond their sight as night fell and the moon cast its eerie glow over the forest. They stumbled upon an ancient altar, a place of sacrifice where dark rituals had been performed for centuries. As they explored further, Tom, Sarah, Alex and Emily discovered that they were not alone in the woods. Malevolent spirits roamed the forest, their anguished cries echoing through the trees as they sought to claim the souls of the living. The group realized too late that they had stumbled upon a place where the boundary between the worlds had grown thin, a place where the veil of reality was torn asunder. Desperate to escape the clutches of the forest, Tom, Sarah, Alex, and Emily sought refuge in an abandoned cabin, a place of shelter that offered temporary respite from the horrors that lurked outside. But as they huddled together in the darkness, they realized that they were trapped in a nightmare from which there could be no escape in a final, desperate bid for survival. The group confronted the ancient evil that held sway over the forest, a malevolent entity known only as the Forest King. With every ounce of strength they possessed, they battled against the darkness, their courage unwavering in the face of overwhelming odds. And as the first light of dawn broke over the forest, the spirits were banished and the darkness lifted. Though scars of their ordeal would linger, Tom, Sarah, Alex and Emily emerged victorious. Having faced their darkest fears and triumphed over the forces of evil as they walked away from the forest, they knew that their lives would never be the same, that the horrors they had witnessed would haunt their dreams for years to come. But they took comfort in the knowledge that they had faced their demons together and emerged stronger for having done so. And as they looked to the future, they whispered a silent prayer of thanks for the darkness had been banished and the light of hope had triumphed once more. The Isle of Apostasy In the treacherous waters off the coast of England, where the waves crashed against jagged cliffs and the fog clung to the air like a shroud, there lay an island, a desolate speck of land shrouded in mystery and steeped in darkness. 
This was the setting for a tale of terror that would send shivers down the spine of even the most courageous souls. Our story begins with the arrival of a young man named Ethan, a devout believer who, seeking answers to the questions that plagued his soul, set out on a perilous journey to the island of apostasy, drawn by rumors of a secretive cult that worshipped forbidden deities. He braved the treacherous waters in search of truth. As Ethan stepped ashore, a sense of foreboding washed over him, and the air grew thick with an otherworldly chill. The island was shrouded in mist, its crumbling ruins and twisted trees standing as silent sentinels to the horrors that lay hidden within, determined to uncover the truth. Ethan ventured deeper into the heart of the island, guided by whispers that seemed to emanate from the very earth itself. Strange symbols adorned the ancient ruins, marking the path to a place of unspeakable darkness, a place where the veil between the world of the living and the realm of the dead grew thin. As Ethan explored further, he encountered the members of the cult, fanatics whose eyes burned with a feverish intensity as they spoke of the ancient gods they worshipped. They welcomed him with open arms, eager to initiate him into their ranks and reveal the secrets of their twisted faith. But as the night fell and the full moon cast its eerie glow over the island, Ethan realized the true nature of the cult. They worshipped not gods, but monsters, ancient entities from beyond the stars, whose hunger for blood and sacrifice knew no bounds. Desperate to escape the clutches of the cult, Ethan sought refuge in the ruins of an old chapel, a place of sanctuary that offered temporary respite from the horrors that lurked outside. But as he huddled in the darkness, he realized that he was not alone, the cult was closing in, their chants growing louder with each passing moment, in a final, desperate bid for survival. Ethan confronted the leader of the cult, a man whose eyes glowed with a malevolent light as he called forth the ancient gods to claim Ethan's soul as their own, with every ounce of strength he possessed. Ethan battled against the darkness, his courage unwavering in the face of overwhelming odds, and as the first light of dawn broke over the island, the cult was vanquished and the darkness lifted. Though scars of his ordeal would linger, Ethan emerged victorious, having faced his darkest fears and triumphed over the forces of evil. As he sailed away from the island, he knew that his life would never be the same, that the horrors he had witnessed would haunt his dreams for years to come, but he took comfort in the knowledge that he had faced his demons and emerged stronger for having done so. And as he looked to the horizon, he whispered a silent prayer of thanks, for the darkness had been banished, and the light of hope had triumphed once more. The Grim Notebook In the dimly lit confines of a cramped apartment, where the air hung heavy with the scent of ink and desperation, there lay a notebook, a seemingly innocuous object with the power to unleash unspeakable horrors upon the world. This was the setting for a tale of terror that would blur the lines between justice and madness. Our story begins with the discovery of the notebook by a young man named Nathan, a troubled soul who stumbled upon it in a dusty corner of an antique shop. Drawn by its eerie allure, he took the notebook home, unaware of the sinister forces that lay dormant within its pages. As Nathan leafed through the notebook, he discovered that it held a power beyond his wildest imaginings. With a simple stroke of the pen, he could command the forces of death and destruction, shaping the world according to his darkest desires, tempted by the prospect of unlimited power. Nathan began to wield the notebook like a weapon, striking down those who stood in his way with cold precision. But as the bodies began to pile up and the authorities closed in, 
Nathan realized the true nature of the notebook's power. It was not a tool of justice, but a harbinger of death, a malevolent force that fed on the suffering of the innocent, haunted by guilt and remorse. Nathan found himself trapped in a nightmare from which there could be no escape. Desperate to rid himself of the notebook's curse, Nathan sought the help of a reclusive scholar, a man with knowledge of the supernatural and the arcane, together. They embarked on a journey into the heart of darkness, confronting the malevolent entity that lurked within the notebook's pages. In a final, desperate showdown, Nathan faced off against the entity, his courage unwavering in the face of overwhelming odds, with every ounce of strength he possessed. He battled against the darkness, determined to banish the evil that had taken root in his life, and as the first light of dawn broke over the city, the entity was vanquished and the curse was lifted. Though scars of his ordeal would linger, Nathan emerged victorious, having faced his darkest fears and triumphed over the forces of evil. As he walked away from the notebook, he knew that his life would never be the same, that the horrors he had witnessed would haunt his dreams for years to come. But he took comfort in the knowledge that he had faced his demons and emerged stronger for having done so. And as he looked to the future, he whispered a silent prayer of thanks, for the darkness had been banished and the light of hope had triumphed once more.